Seamounts act as obstructions for deep water currents, sometimes diverting the water upwards, a process called upwelling. This localized upwelling brings deep sea nutrients upwards, enhancing primary productivity at the bottom of the food web and in turn supporting the rich biodiversity found on seamounts. Diel vertical migration is a daily movement pattern observed in many marine organisms, including zooplankton, fish, and squid, where they migrate vertically through the water column. Many organisms descend toward the surface at night to feed and descend to deeper waters during the day to avoid predators. This migration is one of the largest on Earth and contains food for many marine animals. Setting this migration is key to understanding enormous amounts of yet to be revealed ocean biodiversity. The nutrient rich waters surrounding seamounts attract a high concentration of life that participates in this migration. The steepness and height of seamounts can amplify these effects, creating areas of high biological activity. Here in American Samoa, there is still a lot yet to be explored about the ocean twilight zone, the seafloor, and midwater biodiversity. Vailula seamount has grown substantially since the early 2000s, and it is the only hydrothermally active seamount in American Samoa. How are open ocean animals migrating around a volcanically active seamount like Vailulu? How do hydrothermal plumes affect mesopelagic biodiversity? Exploration starts with a few clues. We know hydrothermal plumes are rich in minerals and nutrients like zinc and iron. When these plumes reach midwater zones, they enhance local productivity by providing essential nutrients that support the growth of primary producers. This increased productivity can sustain a diverse food web, boosting biodiversity in the area. While hydrothermal plumes can enrich biodiversity, they can also pose chemical challenges that can reduce biodiversity. While some species thrive in the mineral-rich conditions created by hydrothermal plumes, others may be negatively affected by the high concentrations of natural but toxic substances like sulfides. This can lead to a reduction in biodiversity if sensitive species are unable to survive in these altered conditions. The overall impact depends on the balance between these positive and negative effects, as well as the adaptability of the local species. So, what's happening here in American Samoa? During this Nautilus expedition, we are using three vehicles to study the Twilight Zone, Mesobot, Drix, and the Deep Autonomous Profiler Lander, or DAP Lander for short. Mesobot and DAP descend below the surface of the ocean to film and collect water samples containing environmental DNA throughout the column, even within the crater of the seamount itself. Drix remains on the surface above, helping map the midwater migration and providing instructions to the other vehicle. This is a multi-vehicle effort aimed at helping us explore how Vailulu Seamount and its venting affects the biology found in this region. We have a lot of work to do to better understand the impacts of seamounts in the water column and the wide range of species found from the seafloor to the surface inside the National Marine Sanctuary of American Samoa. Operations on board the EV Nautilus are vital for advancing science.